It's getting out of a cab alone at 4 a.m. and walking anywhere but home. Because home has too much information. Home knows too much. Home needs to be killed. And you wonder how much it would cost to put out a contract on your bedroom. And then you stare at other people's houses in the hope that maybe if you stand there long enough, they might invite you in and offer you a saucer of milk. And you might become part of the family. At first, the other pets will resent you. The goldfish will make up scandalous stories about your past. The dog will ask your leg out for a date. And when rejected, will tell the other dogs that it never liked your leg anyway. But with your fear line qualities, you will form a special alliance with the family cat, possibly called Slinky. And you and the cat will lounge around the saucer of milk together, lapping at its blank page goodness when you want to, and not lapping when you don't. And you and the cat will share tales of what it's like to walk the streets alone at 4 a.m. Slinky will want to know what it's like to wear a dress and lip gloss and dance on two legs to hip hop. And you will want Slinky to describe the dangerous pursuit of a sparrow along the delicate edge of a tree branch that may or may not hold her weight. The family will grow fond of you and decide you need a name and may or may not call you Kinky because it rhymes with Slinky. And because occasionally when you are lapping milk together, your tongues touch. And they will find that place behind your neck that sends you to other places when they rub it, and they will rub it often. Then one night, you'll go out alone at 4am, and you'll find yourself standing outside your old bedroom window, and you'll remember that it frightened you because it knows everything about you. And suddenly the thought of drinking any more milk will make you want to vomit. And you'll have an intense yearning for beer, cutlery, Snapchat, and standing on two legs again. So you'll make a call to Tony Two Hats and you'll cancel the contract on your bedroom. And a mysterious man with a box of matches will find himself at a loose end that night. And you'll walk into your room on two legs and you'll crouch in front of your mirror and you'll wipe the tear-streaked rivers of mascara from your cheeks and you'll remove the collar from your neck and you'll slip inside your bed like into an envelope addressed to home.